So it's spring here in Indiana and every spring I have to make some sort of bird related project. A bird house, a bird feeder. Um, <laughs> one year I made a hummingbird feeder. Uh, another year I made a butterfly house. And, and if you want to see those, um, I have them on my website over at woodlogger.com. Um, so this spring I decided to make a, a woodpecker feeder. And I've seen these in some of the big box stores now. You know, I've seen them for years in uh, like craft fairs and craft shows and, and uh, even some of the like the like the wild bird stores where they, they sell feed and stuff. Um, and I've always thought they were kind of cool. I, you know, I've always kind of wanted to just make one. Um, so anyway, so that's what I decided to do this spring. And so what, what you do, or rather what the birds do, <laughs> hopefully, is they, uh, they grab onto these, these little perches and, and then the woodpeckers go at it and put the food in here. And they have these little suet cakes that you just slide, or suet pods, or suet plug, well, here in Indiana, we would say soot, soot pods or soot cakes. And uh, anyway, you, you put the, the little uh, soot cake in there, and hopefully the uh, the woodpeckers go at it, right? So anyways, it's, it's, a, it's a great project. It's an easy project. And um, here's the video of how I made this one. And as always, you can check out my website at woodlogger.com where I've got more pictures and information about this project and other projects that I've got going on in my shop. So to get started on my uh, my block for my uh, woodpecker feeder, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically draw a roof line um, coming down. So to do that, I think the easiest way is just to kind of find the center point, which for me is about one and a half inches. And I'm gonna come down about two inches on each side, two inches there, and then I'm just gonna draw a line. That and a line like that. So now I've got my roof line pretty much set. And then for my first hole that I'm going to drill, I'm just going to come down about two and a half inches there. Yeah, you know, actually, I think I'll make it three. I'm going to come down about three inches. That'll give me my middle point there. And then I want to make sure I'm in the center. Still in the center. Okay, so I've got my center point. I've got my roof line. I went ahead and set a compass up just so I could visually see it because I wanted to have an idea. I think it's kind of an idea of where that first hole is going to be. You can see my, my roof line. And then after that, I'm going to actually use a core box bit. I'm going to come down maybe about a half an inch for that. And this will be a kind of a little place for the uh, guys to uh, stand on. So I'm going to make it about an inch long. That kind of gives me a mark there. And then I think I'm going to do another one actually, about maybe three quarters of an inch below that. And same thing, I'm going to make it about an inch long. Maybe a little bit longer. That kind of gives you an idea of how it's going to look. You got your roof line, uh, the hole will go all the way through the piece, and then this will be a kind of a perch where they can grab onto it. And then I'll roll this over, I'll do the same thing, but I'll actually come down and the first hole will be almost eh, about halfway through the block, and then I'll do two little perches on the bottom as well. So to cut the roof line on the bird feeder, I just use my bandsaw and I make pretty quick work of that. Next up I used a drill press with a, a one and a half inch spade bit to uh, drill the holes where the uh, suet plugs will go. To make the perches where the uh, woodpeckers can actually kind of hold on to um, the feeder, um, I chose to use a router with a core box bit uh, it was a, a quarter inch core box bit and really you know, there's a lot of options to this. You could simply just attach a piece of wood to the front of it um, that kind of makes a perch you know, on the exterior. Um, you, know, you could just simply use uh, wood chisels and just kind of uh, chisel a, a, a small line just um, for the uh, birds to have something to hold on to. Uh, so I don't know, I, maybe I went a little fancy on this part, but um, you know, it, it, it's a pretty simple thing to do too if you have a router. So 
So the last step to this is to uh, add a hanger. Um, I actually pre-drilled a hole in the top of this to make it a, a little bit easier. And, um, and then I just kind of screwed in a, an eye hook um, where I'll you know, hang it up. Um, so anyways, if, if you uh, want to see more pictures and information about this project that I, I just finished, you can check on my website at woodlogger.com, um, as well as uh, you can check out uh, other projects and videos that I've got going on in my shop.